What's up fellow vapers? It's me Bo. I'm back finally finally making a new video. It's been a while I know I've been busy at the shop and at the house and doing my life thing life's life's been busy and but I'm here now that's what's important got something new to talk about also in California doing a road trip doing a road trip video I guess I'm uh, at my parents house kicking it for Thanksgiving weekend having a good time it's also my birthday feeling old 22 just ask Taylor Swift she'll tell you all about my new age feeling 22. but we're not doing that today we're talking vape talking shop talking magneto magneto we got the gold version right here this one's for my buddy angie in indiana in ray mellis tour i'm taking care of it i'm just doing a video i promise nothing's happening to it it's gonna show you how it works and it's working great yeah first off compared to my natural this thing is hitting hard the voltage drop i never noticed how hard the how much of the voltage drop i got out of this like a full charge battery and this hits really well but I put the same battery in this thing and it hits so much harder I don't get it I mean I know why but I just wish it didn't do that but I need to get a new one anyway I broke the broke the button on mine it still works I just gotta baby it now and it's annoying gotta get a new one pain in the ass But now that I know how hard these hit compared to my natural, I might have to get one of these instead. I might just keep this Angie. Sorry, you can't have it now. Can't have it. Just kidding. You can have it. I don't be that mean. Got my RSST on top. We're going to have these in the shop too. It's a rebuildable Genesis atomizer. I don't know if they're in the shop yet. I'm not there. I have to give Wayne a call. Bug him about it. Ask him. If you want one, at least. I mean, if you don't want one, don't mind. Nah, don't bother. But, <laughs> you know, if you want one, check it out. Um, what else? No, nah, you don't have to use this kind of tank on there. You can use anything on it. It just, you know, it works better with rebuildables because this is a mechanical mod. Meaning, there's no wires, no circuits, no electronics. It's just my stainless steel tube battery, you know, set up with my 18650 on the inside. And you just push a button and complete the connection. Here, here, firing. Push the button. It's just that easy. That's the appeal of mechanical mods. They will fire anything. You know, uh, your variable wattage, your egos, all your you know electronic devices. They're gonna have a cutoff. You know, a certain has to be your resistance of your tank has to be at a certain point, or else it won't work because it has a safety thing on the inside. But with mechanicals, you can go down, you know, 0 .01, and it'll fire it. Don't do that. You know, be safe about it. Don't do that. But I'm just saying it, it'll fire it. Your, you know, your, your electronic devices have a cutoff at like 1.3. You know, they're all different. But somewhere around 1.3, it won't fire, you know, below that. But this one will fire whatever you put on there. And that's the appeal of these to most people. Not that you can't use Kangers and stuff on them, because you can, which I'm mailing to Angie. I'm going to give her a Pro Tank 2 with this guy, and it's going to work fantastic. But it's just more appealing to people with rebuildables that like to rock the lower ohms like I do. I got like a point, point oh eight. No, I mean like point eight, not oh eight. That would be low. Like point eight, point nine coil in here. Nice fat air hole. Working great. This isn't a fully charged battery but still working really well. This battery's off pretty pretty dead actually and it's still working well. Um, what else? It's telescopic. This has an 18650 battery in it right now, but you can use an 18500, 18490. Uh, 18350 you know whatever size battery you got whatever size battery you want to use it'll fit because it's telescopic amazing uh, we got our locking switch on the bottom here really nice easy to turn it's reverse threaded so you know you won't unscrew this on accident when you're tightening this down to lock it or anything just little things like that makes it nice makes it work better it's a magnetic switch so it's really easy to push there's no 
crappy spring in here, you know, you're not gonna have any problems with the spring. It's just magnetic resistance that, you know, completes your connection that keeps the button out. That's why you get that resistance. It's a magnet. You know, it works better than the springs in my opinion. Yeah, and on the, the chrome or the silver magnetos, there's a, usually a Spider-Man symbol on the bottom. I don't know why Spider-Man, but there's like a Spider-Man looking logo on there. But on the gold one, it's just flat gold. Just nothing. But that doesn't bother me. I don't really care. Just point it out to you people. Uh, I'm thinking this is a version 2 magneto. I'm not sure. Because I think there's only ver two versions. But I've seen three different kinds of center pins on these guys. Like the version 1 had the, un the no, you couldn't adjust the center pin on the first one. And then they came out the version 2, and I've seen the center pin with the spring in it. I don't know if you've seen that, but the, it has like a spring in it. I don't, I don't really know how it works. And then this one just has a, a screw with like a Delrin piece around it. And then you just screw it and unscrew it to tighten up to the connector. But I don't know if that makes this a different version or if they just updated the pin. I'm not sure, but it doesn't bother me. It still works great. Adjustable center pins are always good. Yeah, the, that's the reason the version 1 didn't last very long, because everyone wanted an adjustable center pin. Got to get that flush mount. You don't want to have a gap there. That's the point of the adjustable center pins. And I'll talk about that more when we go up close. I have an up close portion for you at the end, of course, as usual. I actually filmed that in the shop one day when I was working, so that's kind of funny, but I do do an up close, so I'll talk about that more. Just working really well. I wish I didn't have to give this up. I might have to actually buy one myself, because <sighs> it's just working so well for me. But, um... I don't really know what else to say. I think that's pretty much all I need to cover. They're pretty easy. There's there's basic mechanical mods, not a whole lot to them. They're all pretty similar, but they all have their little differences. But they're all easy. You just put the battery in, push the button, no adjusting, no nothing. You just put the battery in and go. Yeah, I don't want to give this up, but I got to. That's pretty much it for me. I'm gonna go kick it with my family downstairs. That's what I'm here for, I'm on vacation. Gonna go hang out, I had my vape time with you guys. It was great, it's been a while. Thanks for joining me, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the close up if you want. If not, this is where we part ways. And I guess I'll see you guys on the flip side. Keep on vaping people. Okay, here's the Smoke Tech Magneto all up and close. It looks pretty nice actually up close. I wasn't sure how I feel about the gold, but I actually like it a lot. This is the 18350 mode, because this is a mechanical mod and it's telescopic, so you can use different size batteries. And that's about how it looks with 18500 battery in it. And then if we go a little bit longer, That's about how it looked with an 18650 in it. So let's take this thing apart real fast, see how it works. All our little pieces right here. And then our switch at the bottom. Just our tube. And there's a switch. So there's the four pieces. Start with the top cap. So it has an adjustable center pin, so you just unscrew that a little bit, if I can. It's pretty tight when you first get this bad boy. Let's see if I can get it unscrewed. There we go. And once you get it loosened, it's finger. You can do it with your finger. So the point of this is to get a nice snug fit right here. 
So what you do is, let's get my tank, my RSST. So what you do is loosen this, the screw right here, put your tank on, so it's nice and seamless fit right here, and then you just tighten up the screw so you get a nice connection. So there's the top cap <clears throat> and our extension tube, which this piece screws onto. And then we have our base tube where the battery's gonna sit inside. There's the one of the connections right there. And that's spring loaded, so that's how your battery squeezes in there. And at the bottom there's one of the magnets, because this is a magnetic switch, which is why it's called the magneto. Pretty clever. So if you'll see button, no spring in here, just you know stays where you put it. But if you put it against the magnet, see it, there's kind of a force here. If you squeeze it, then you'll see the button pop up. That magnetic force pushing the button. <clears throat> so that's how you get your connection. Uh, if I can get it squeezed together here, there we go. So now, we have a nice magnetic switch right here. It's actually a really nice button. It's really easy to push. That's how I do it with my pinky. So let's get a battery in here. And we push it down until we catch the threads. And there it is. And lock the switch. That's how you lock it. You just, and it's a reverse threaded locking switch. So there you go, and it's gonna fire. So you push the button, and then you lock it counterclockwise, and then you can't push the button. So then you can sit on your table. Just that easy. And we are going to have these tanks in soon, in the shop. There it is, looking snazzy. It's actually quite nice looking. If I wasn't shipping this bad boy out to someone, I'd keep it for myself. But, this is just for a video, sadly. And there it is. Alright, see you guys.